So we get a lot of questions about which grow light to choose for specific applications. Uh, California Lightworks, we have quite a number of power levels and coverage areas to cover just about every application. So the first question you should ask is what is your coverage area? How big is the canopy? Most all LED lights are rated for a certain coverage area. If you get a smaller area, you might have too much light. You try to cover a bigger area, you won't have enough light to get good results. So in general, in the solar system series, there's the 200 watt version, which is the model 275. It's optimized for like a three by three square footage area in bloom. You could go up to even a four by four, five by five area by going higher in veg. The next step up is the 550. It's a 400 watt and it will cover a four by four space in bloom and even up to six by six in veg by going up higher. Then finally, we have the Solar System 1100. This is designed to cover up to a five by five area, like in a tent, let's say. For a larger area, we have the Solar System 1100, which is good for up to a five by five coverage area in flower. We don't really recommend that as a veg light. We would, for veg, you don't need that much power. We'd more recommend the 550 or the 275, which will cover quite a good size area in veg. If you're looking at the Solar Extreme series, these are designed as well, three by three for the 250, a four by four for the 500, up to a five by five for the 1000. These are really designed to go much closer. So if you have a low headroom, like let's say in a tent, you can't go very high, we'd probably recommend these to get closer to the plants. The solar system requires a little bit more headroom and they work much better uh, the higher they're hung actually to replace the equivalent HPS light. So first concern is coverage area, especially in bloom, because that's really when you're gonna get the most important function of your light. For larger commercial application where you're using multiple lights in a more open room, we don't really suggest the solar extreme. They're more of an independent uh, tent light. If you're doing in a larger series or commercial grow, we highly recommend the solar system series. You can hang them up a higher, you get a better overlap and a better uniformity uh, using multiple lights. There again, it's just a question of the, the canopy area. Uh, the 550 or the 1100 are very effective to do in series where you do an overlap. Obviously, you, always have, you also have a consideration of budget when choosing a light. There are a lot of very cheap imports from China, you can especially find on Amazon. The trouble is you tend to get what you pay for. A lot of those are very misleading ratings about the coverage area, about the wattage. I would stay away from those in general, unless they've got a really good reputation and local service. Otherwise, I would more suggest a well-known US brand for the quality of the LEDs, and you know that the information they're giving you as far as coverage area, wattage, warranty and local service is really important for LEDs. You can, you can easily lose money on a cheap imitation. If you're doing any type of greenhouse application, we have a brand new light coming out called the Greenhouse Pro 340. It's a linear design, it's waterproof, perfect for greenhouse situations. Please look on our website for full details on that light. Some additional considerations for which, which light to choose. If you're doing everything in one space, with one light, we'd highly suggest the solar system because it has digital spectrum control. So you can have a separate spectrum for veg, bloom, uh, final finishing, very versatile light that you don't have to ever move it from one space. Same thing for the solar extreme. It's a single fixed spectrum light, but it's especially designed to cover all phases from veg flu bloom. So you don't have to change the light. Now in cases where you have a separate veg room, from your flower room, we would suggest one of our veg versions of the 550 or 275. It has a much higher blue ratio, so it's a much better veg light. It's not designed for bloom, but if you're only vegging, we'd suggest a dedicated veg light with a higher blue ratio. And in the same respect, if you're only flowering and those lights are only going to be in your blue room, we suggest going with a higher red ratio, more powerful light. Solar system is adjustable, so you can have a specialized bloom spectrum. There again, Solar Extreme is optimized to be especially effective in bloom. But these are just some of the considerations you want to when you're shopping for a light. Uh, heat is also a big uh, consideration. 
you're in an enclosed area in a tent, you want to make sure that the efficiency of the light it runs cool so you don't have an overheating problem. Obviously, power limitation is a big problem. If you don't have enough wattage available uh, for the lights you're going to put up, you've got a real limitation there. So you want to check that out in advance. How many watts can you actually run at one time? You're also going to need fans and uh, other electrical devices to make sure you calculate the wattage correctly. Another consideration is if you want spectrum or dimmability, this gives you a lot more flexibility in what you can do with a single light. Most of the LEDs out there tend to be fixed spectrum, so you've, you've kind of got what you got and you're stuck with it. There is a big advantage in having either a light that you can dim or even better if it's adjustable spectrum. This makes a much more flexible light and over time you can use that light in different situations. If you have any other questions about which light we might recommend, please contact us through our website contact us page.